Hey YouTube, Bob here. Welcome to World of Nintendo. I've got a lot more content like this on the way, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Here we go! In this edition of Nintendo Unbox, we're going to be taking a look at a, another password pack just like the original Metroid that we already took a look at. Like Metroid, Kid Icarus was released in 1987 for the Nintendo Entertainment System in the United States, and it was also preceded in 1986 by a disk system release in Japan. And uh, one of the reasons for that, at that time, it was more economical uh, to have a magnetic disk as the read-write format for saving games information. However, The Legend of Zelda also kind of followed this pattern of release in uh, first in Japan in 1986 and then in the United States in 1987. However, by the time Zelda was released, uh, they did solidify the uh, battery back save format. So the password was not necessary for Legend of Zelda. But we will see that here for Kid Icarus, a password pack. So this uh, packaging here is very reminiscent of Metroid. We got a silver background here. Kid Icarus is printed in a pink color, whereas Metroid was printed in orange. But we've got that branding on three of the four sides of the box here. And then on the back, we've got Kid Icarus. Get ready for the action and adventure of Greek mythology translated to the video age. Video age? Okay, maybe video game age, but whatever it is, it's important enough to capitalize. Far away in a kingdom called Angel Land, the evil goddess Medusa has stolen the three sacred treasures and imprisoned the goddess of light, Palutina. As Kid Icarus, your mission is to find the treasures, destroy Medusa, and rescue Palutina from the depths of the palace in the sky. To find the treasures, you'll have to travel through ruins, collecting weapons, and storing power for use in combat against creatures of Medusa's army. Use your bow and arrow to ward off gatekeepers of the underworld, overworld, and sky world as you strive towards your battle against Medusa. Will you survive to restore Palatina's light and return it to Angel Land? Only you will know. Now, as I'm reading this, this is interesting. Uh, I'm just putting this together now, like I said, as I'm reading this. But they mentioned uh, Palutina here. And in Japan, uh, Kid Icarus is actually called Palutina's Mirror. So the namesake of the game is actually not named for the, um, the protagonist, the playable protagonist in the game. Your name in the game is Pit, and that's the little angel character that you control. And now that I'm thinking of these password packs and the legend, of Zelda, there's a similar thing going on in the naming. Metroid is not named after the uh, player-controlled protagonist. That, of course, is Samus Aran. And then we think the Legend of Zelda. Well, you don't play as Zelda. You play as Link. So kind of an interesting epiphany that I'm having about uh, these three games that were released in 1986 on the disc system in Japan and 1987 uh, is a cartridge in the United States, just the way they name them. But anyway, that's an aside. Uh, in this, uh, on the back here, we've got our typical screenshots here, uh, kind of in that shape of the CRT TV. And they're showing you the varied worlds here. And uh, the music in this game is phenomenal. The platforming is okay. It's a little bit slippery. They hadn't, they didn't quite have the Mario platforming going on, but that's what makes this uh, the, this unique. It's not quite as precise. You have to get used to it. A little bit slippery, but once you do, it's a very fun game. So let's take a look and see what we have inside. We've got the game in its bag, and then the documentation. Side. On the back here we've got our poster, Nintendo Power subscription, a little bit of a warning card we'll take a look at, and then the instruction manual. The cartridge, as always here, there is Kid Icarus mimicking the box art that we saw. 
So this is the five screw variant, one of the earlier ones before they replaced uh, the uh, two screws in the front with uh, two plastic clips. Metroid was also like this, as was Legend of Zelda. And our Nintendo branded dust cover there. Let's take a look at our poster. This one could either be uh, based on when this was released in 1987. It could be the original Nintendo game plan, but I think I already saw a punch out on here. Yeah, so this is going to be a now you're playing with power. One of the newer editions of the poster here that, of course, would have these newer games added. We've got Metroid, Legend of Zelda, Kid Icarus, and The Adventure of Link. All of those came out in a similar time frame, as did... Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I believe those were all 1987 releases. However, Adventure of Link may be a 1988 release. We'll have to confirm that once we take a look at uh, the Adventure of Link in a future Nintendo Unboxed video. But we've got our Nintendo Power subscription here featuring Castlevania 2 and Legend of Zelda tip on the back. Read before using your NES. A very small portion of the population may experience epileptic seizures when viewing certain kinds of flashing lights or patterns that are commonly present in our daily environment. So this information may have been uh, included in the consumer precautions booklets that we would be seeing uh, in future releases. But this for Kid Icarus is kind of its uh, separate, separate insert there. And then finally here we have our Kid Icarus, uh, Icarus instruction booklet. Very stark presentation here, just like Metroid, silver background. Legend of Zelda had the gold background. So let's take a look and see what we have in this full color instruction booklet. We've got the tale, how to start playing, basic wisdom, a guide to angel land, item that will make Pit a strong angel, Introducing the inhabitants of Angel Land, and then questions and answers. So let's take a look at the story here, presented with beautiful artwork here, very reminiscent of the Metroid booklet that we saw in a previous video. The Tale of Kid Icarus. Let us go back to the distant past, to an age when the gods and man lived together in harmony. There was once a kingdom called Angel Land. This kingdom was ruled by two beautiful goddesses. Palatina, who administered light, and Medusa, who ruled darkness. Palatina lived in the palace in the sky and administered light so that man could live in happiness. And bathed in this light, man grew food and lived in peace. However, Medusa, the goddess of darkness, was different. Medusa hated mankind. She took great pleasure in drying up the crops that man took great pains to grow and in turning people into stone statues. In her anger, Palatina changed Medusa into an ugly monster and banished her to the deep, dark underworld. For being changed into this ugly monster and forced to live in the underworld, Medusa promised to take over the palace in the sky where Palatina lived. So, was, so great was Medusa's anger that she joined forces with the monsters and evil spirits of the underworld, and Medusa's army soon began to surpass Palatina's army in strength. Soon, a war between Palatina and Medusa began. Medusa led a surprise attack on Palatina's army, which could barely fend off the attack. Palatina's army suffered major losses and was heavily defeated in the final battle. What's more, Medusa's army took the three sacred treasures, the mirror shield, the arrow of light, and the wings of Pegasus, away from them. Almost all the warriors in Palatina's army were turned into stone statues, and Palatina herself was imprisoned deep in the palace in the sky. The peaceful realm of Angel Land became, uh, came to be inhabited by the foul and terrible monsters, and was turned into a land of darkness ruled by the wicked Medusa. Locked in the depths of the palace in the sky, Palatina's strength was drained to its last. As a last resort, she sought to help the angel youth Pitt, who was being held prisoner locked deep in a dungeon in the underworld. Pitt was a valiant warrior who used to be in charge of Palatina's personal bodyguards. Armed with a bow and arrow brought to him through Palatina's magical strength, Pitt attempted an escape from the underworld. The guard at this time was low in number as Medusa's army had advanced to the palace in the sky. Pitt succeeded in his escape and set out on a long adventure to rescue Palatina. 
Yet to defeat Medusa, he had to get the three sacred treasures. Will Pitt be able to restore Palatina's light and return it to Angel Land? Only you can answer that question. By playing Kid Icarus, of course. So how to start playing Kid Icarus? We've got some screenshots here of the password system. And Pitt is saying, the game pack saves these items from the last checkpoint you passed. Strength, number of meter sections. Possessions, number of hearts and points. Basic wisdom. Get the three sacred treasures to defeat Medusa. Pitt says, my mission is to find the three sacred treasures and to defeat Medusa. Now let's find the items and set out for this palace in the sky. Got a little map here of what the buttons do on the controller, and there's actually a picture of uh, Pitt holding the controller. That's pretty cool. How to read the display with your hearts and your life meter, and then the uh, inventory status screen. Shows you everything that is included there. You got your total score, score, stage display, fighting power, check sheet display. Weapons, three sacred treasures, water of life, mallet, angel's wings, credit card, flaming torch, pencil. A guide to Angel Land. Angel Land is divided into four challenging stages. Pitt says, I've got to defeat the gatekeepers, enemy of the underworld, overworld, and sky world fortresses, and then fight Medusa in the palace in the sky. Got a very, very basic map, and we would see these basic maps in Metroid and in Legend of Zelda. Interesting how they tried to provide this uh, information here and not give too much away. We've got the Underworld as Stage 1. Pitt's adventure begins with Pitt slipping past the Underworld Watchman. Stage 2 is the Overworld. Pitt pushes forward uh, through mountains, seas, and various regions in search of the Overworld Fortress. Stage 3, Sky World. Flying through the cloudy skies, Pit fly, uh, fights terrible monsters. Stage 4, Palace in the Sky. If Pit has possession of the three sacred treasures, he is ready to fight Medusa, who awaits him in the palace in the sky. So then we've got some more uh, detailed descriptions here of those uh, areas in the game, as well as some screenshots. Items that will make more uh, pit more a more powerful angel. Six types of items, twenty of each. They will make you big and strong. You can find them in the seven chambers. So we got lists of the items here. Going through what you can also buy in the stores throughout the game. And the items that will make pit big and strong. Got weapons. Fire, Sacred Bow, Protective Crystal. Huge, huge game for 1987. Three Sacred Treasures here. Got the Mirror Shield, the Light Arrows, and the Wings of Pegasus. Also a sealed casket. Caskets containing the three Sacred Treasures. The Hearts. Harps, Mallets. We've got some illustrations as well as the pixel art here that's been a theme that we've seen in the Legend of Zelda and Metroid booklets carried over here but just so detailed lots of color the wording is easy for kids to understand the target audience and then here we go into the bestiary the inhabitants of Angel Land telling you where you're gonna see these in stage one the underworld here it looks, however, though, we've gotten away from showing both the illustrations and the pixel art. We're just showing the illustrations here. I wonder if the Japanese version on the disk system will be any different. We'll be taking a look at that in a future video. Yeah, some very cool illustrations for the baddies in Kid Icarus. Very interesting names, too. Some of them hard to pronounce for a seven or eight year old. But you learn some Greek mythology by playing this game as well. Questions and answers, kind of like an FAQ here. I won't read through all these, but I will center it in the frame here. So if you want to pause the video, you are welcome to do that.
and then we end with FCC and the 90-day limited warranty. So that is the cartridge version of Kid Icarus released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1987. I hope you enjoyed the video and I invite you to stay tuned for the eventual follow-up, the 1986 Japanese Famicom Disk System version of the game. We'll be taking a look at that. But between now and then, I've got lots of new and varied content coming out. So please stay tuned and keep watching. Thanks for being here today. Bye-bye.